Let me show now how to build a scatter plot, but in, in a situation in which we have aggregated data, for instance, in a contingency, contingency table such as the one we, we see here. This data corresponds to an exercise you will find at the uh, topic 7, exercise 7 problem set. You will see exercise 5, which, uh, well, it's this exercise asks us to compute the correlation coefficient, but in addition to this, we can also try to draw uh, a graph okay so the point is um, we don't have a list of individuals with X and Y but we have a table with 25 individuals of course we could try to build this list of 25 people but it's uh, maybe we don't have 25 but we have, we have a thousand so it's much better if you try to build a graph in which every frequency is highlighted okay properly so the point is, first, we, 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 we have to build a list considering values for x, okay, and the values for y, and also the values for the joint frequency distribution. Well, as the values for x, we have, for instance, 2, 3, and 4, and for these values, 2, 3, and 4, we find, for instance, at the start, a value of y equal to 3. So when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3, how many people we see? We see 5 individuals, so we put it here, a 5. For uh, an x equal to 3 and a y equal to 3 as well, we find 2 people, so 3 and 3 equal to 2 people. Okay, and finally, for an x equal to 4 and a y equal to 3, we have just uh, 0 people. Okay, so we put here a zero. So we, we can do, of course, this much faster if we consider we have two, three, and four, the values for x, then the next value for y, which is four, and copy this uh, values, which are the values, well, the frequency, the joint frequencies for x having these values, two, three, and four, and y having a four. So we copy this, copy, come here, and we say we want to paste the values. That's it, and we did do, do, we do the same for um, x here, a value of uh, y equal to five, and finally the joint frequency distribution, which is this. Okay, again we see that we have four, five, and three, which is four, five, three people with a value of x equal to four, and a value of y equal to five. Um, well, let, let me draw it, or let me represent this properly. Yes, everything is ordered. With this is in bolded. This is with a, with an axis, etc. Okay, we have this data. Um, we have we can be sure that this sums up to twenty five. We can do we can check if the sum is equal to twenty five. Just to be sure. Yeah, that's it. We are sure this way that we have a distribution of twenty five individuals. Okay. Once done it, we can we can delete it, and then we select the data. We go to insert. We want to insert a graph, but now we say we want to insert a bubble graph. As you see, this bubble, I click. Let me click it finally. This bubble is representing the x uh, distribution, the y distribution, and every bubble, every round is representing the frequency for every value. So for instance, when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3, we have 5 people. This is exactly this. Okay. Uh, of course, we can present this something, let's say, better. We can skip the title if we want, but we can double click in this axis and select that we want to start this in 1. We want that the unit, the, mini, the, the, the unit is 1 here. Okay. We can double click here. And we say again that the minimum value, let's say it's a 2. Sorry, where are you? Let me, let me click it again. Okay. The values, axis options, yeah. Minimum value, it's a 2. Um, the minimum distance, yes, I w we, we don't need to 2.5, etc. So th th that's why I put a, a 1 here. Okay. <coughs> we can even select when we cross, we, we tick at, the, at this cross, 
we can select what we want the, the, the labels within every bubble for instance okay we can even select several options okay at the right within besides etc okay so this is a nice way to represent a scatter plot where we have aggregate data as uh, as uh, our contingency table is proposing and and this way I think we, we, we can see that in fact we have a positive association between these two uh, dimensions.